Eating better is easier with cool produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Just color your plate with two fruits and three veggies every day. Cool Uzotwala. These five South Africans are ready to show off their cooking skills to impress the judges and win big to become Zanzi's next cooking star. Fresh produce grown right here in Zanzi. Hi, we've got you. Eating better starts with cool five a day. Just add two fruits and three veggies to your daily meals. As we said to make eating better easier, color your plate with cool. Congratulations to each and every one of you for making it this far. You can give yourselves a round of applause. My name is Lona Govinda. I'm age 39. I'm from a little town called Sapingo in a Durban KZN. I'm a mom of two boys, age 17 and 11. My name is Sipesi Lemkeze, living in Johannesburg, always. I'm a marketing graduate and I'm a private cook. I'm Lydia. I'm from Kirby Store. I've been an estate agent for about 25 years, had enough of it, love cooking, and I started writing my own cooking book. I'm Mavis Matosi. I'm from Crystal Park, Pinoni. I am married and a mother of four. I love baking. I love seeing people enjoy what I cooked and what I baked. My name is Bubbles Milo, and yes, Bubbles is my real name. I live in Zakaria Park. By profession, I am a forensic investigator. I investigate crimes, your money laundering, corruption, racketeering, and I run a business as well. I'm a baker and cook. This is the last challenge before the grand finale. And what better way than ending it with something sweet? That's right, Ruben. Here are in Crew's range of food products. You'll each have one hour to create a dessert worthy of a festive celebration. Only one of you can make it through to the grand finale. And to help us make that decision, let's meet today's five a day superstar. As an espresso presenter, my days start really, really early, but it is a lot of fun because no day is ever the same. I'm always on the go. That's why meal prepping is so important for me. I love sweet things. I have a sweet tooth, and even though I'm on a healthy meal plan, I love a cheat day. This stems from my childhood, but growing up, it was a treat to eat the cool fruit cocktail with some ice cream. And I'm hoping the contestants today will take something that is so nostalgic and make something unique with it. But most importantly, I want to see how the contestants really bring through their own heritage and make their dish their own. Let's welcome Zoe Brown. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi Zoe, welcome to the show. Thank you, it's so great to be here. Great to have you. And to the contestants, well done for making it this far. I have a big sweet tooth, so I cannot wait to see and taste what you're gonna to make today. Under the cloche, we created a delicious dessert using a variety of fruit in a creative way to inspire you. Zoe, will you do the honors? Of course. Zoe, you can also give it a try. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> right, so there we have a pear and frangipani tart. So frangipani tart is the use of almond flour, so it's the flavor of almonds together with that lovely pear. It's baked in a crust. And on the side, there's a lovely custard where we used the cool fruit cocktail, roasted it, and then blended it into the creme anglaise. And that's where that lovely color comes from. Zoe, what do you think? I love this. I love the creamy texture. It's a very nice accompaniment to this. And I just love how the flavors work together. I really like it. It's something different. It's got a slight crunch to it. It's also got some spice. You can taste it at the back of your tongue. So yes, it's absolutely lovely. Remember, you can enjoy two fruits as part of your five a day in a tasty, indulgent dessert. Mmm, guys, make sure you save some for moi. I'm watching you, Zoe. <laughs> I'll keep some for you. Behind me is a fully stocked pantry, and today we stocked it with a variety of sweet treats to help you to make that delicious festive dessert. You'll each have one and a half minutes to gather all your ingredients. You'll go in one at a time to adhere to social distancing. And once your time is up, the pantry will be 
off limits. Mm, li ready. Li ready. Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? Sasha! <laughs> Bubbles, are you ready for your pantry dash? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, well, your time begins in three, two, one, go. Thank you. <laughs> my love for cooking started a long time ago. I was my father's helper in the kitchen while I was growing up. That's where I learned a lot of things. He was a great cook. You look very organized. It looks like you know exactly what you want to grab. Oh, yes. Oh, you're going for the cake. My love for cooking comes from the time I'm a little girl. I used to watch my grandmom and my mom cook. Uh, them working with different ingredients and creating things it really got to me. And now I love cooking for my boys, cooking and baking for them. Mavis is very focused. I'm good. Are you good? You've yes. got everything. You've still yes. got 35 seconds left. Remember, once the time is done, you cannot take anything else. What are you looking for? Um, I don't know, rice. You're going to use rice? Mm -hmm. Very interesting choice. Are you going to make something with a lot of chocolate? I hope so. <laughs> oh, goodness. What are you looking for? Sugar. You've got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Time is done. Oh, no. I haven't got off this stuff. <sighs> OK, Lydia, how are you mm. feeling? What did you forget? I forgot the uh, butter. Did I get the butter? I, I couldn't get the white sugar, white carbonate. Oh, I don't know. Well, Lydia, you're going to have to make it work. Good luck. OK, we'll have to see what I can do. <laughs> now, now with the buyer for night. And for night with the plan for a day. Contestants, I'm feeling some fantastic festive energy in this kitchen and I know you're going to get some wonderful treats. Remember now, the pantry is off limits. The cool oil is available throughout the challenge and today it's stocked with a variety of fruit products. That's right. Can I see some excitement in here? Woo! <laughs> Watch out for me, I'm coming. Be prepared because I'm here with the spice from Durban. Watch out, Mavis is in the kitchen. The homemade cook is here and ready. Have fun and let the best cook win. You only have one hour. Ready, steady, colour your plate. <laughs> Let's get cooking. What are we waiting for, guys? <laughs> More colour on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day to 072-741-5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Cool Uzoqual. Color your plates with tasty cool peaches that you can snack on any time of the day. Cool. Uzotual. Ready, steady, color your plates. Yes! I grew up from a cooking family. From way back from my grandmother up to my sister, they taught me baking, they taught me cooking. By the age of 17, already I had my baking business. What comes to mind when I think about festive celebration, I'm thinking something sweet, something spongy, you know, like color, trifle. Mavis. Hi, Chef. How are you doing? I'm good, good. good. We've been seeing I'm quite good. a lot of technique here. It's obviously something that you're so comfortable with. You're so yes. used to doing this. Yes. What's happening? What are you making? Okay, I just put my Swiss roll in the oven already. Oh, lovely. I'm making a trifle. So I'm going to use um, the Swiss roll to layer. And then a lot of peaches, cool peaches, and um, mixed fruits, mm. custard, cream cheese mixed with um, fresh cream. Can I have a squeeze in the oven? Please don't open. I won't open, I won't open. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Please. 
Leave my sister Ooh. alone. You will see it once I'm done. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let me get out of here. Thank you. My love for cooking started with my, actually my mother. She was always doing a great cook, so I sort of was more in the kitchen with her. But oh, when they went to church on Sunday evenings, I invited the whole streets for waffles and syrup. <laughs> and my mother would get mad when she gets home and discovers that the whole kitchen is a mess. I kind of sweet pizza milk, made chocolate ganache, Rum course in the Fruchte Mengsel van Koe. Hallo Lydia. Hi. Ik zie net die stroop uh, van jouw fruit cocktail afgegooid. Wat gaan jullie doen met dit? Ik wil het glaseer met die ja. flapoeie. Hoe is het? Ik heb het glaseer met die pootje gevangen. Nou, ik mag ook gewoon die pan doen. Dat is fijn in die pan. Ja. Maak je zaken en hij is nou klaar daarin, Mos. Verder, wat, wat, wat is jouw plannen? Ik maak nou een koekje dier. Hm? En dan ga ik dit nou niet oen pak. En dan ga ik een chocolade ganache maken. Nou, jij het vergeet om boter te grijpen. Wat ga jij nou gebruiken in plaats van boter? Ik ga nou maar roomkoos gebruiken. Hmm, dat is nog eens een slim idee. Dat is amper beter. So, nou, ik denk nee, dat het nog okay. steeds goed uitkomt. So, nee. Ik denk jij is heel te mal oké. Okay. So, gebruik dit om zien uit om te zien wat je gaat maken. Jij is een vrouw met een plan. Goed, dank je. Dank je. I like posting on Instagram recipes that remind people of home. In most of the comments, people do say that I cook food that reminds them of their grandparents, their, their mothers and their fathers. So that makes me happy. Deepa Sishle, how's it going here? Um, going very well, actually. Everything is going, it's going according to plan, so yeah. I see you grab the pear halves and syrup. Mm, yes, I'm going to add that to my batter. Mm. Yes. Inside. And the batter's finished already, eh? She's moving. She's it's quick, done. quick. <laughs> it's yeah. done. I'm about to chop it and pop it inside. So the apples are going to stay raw and the pears are already cooked, so it's all going to go in there. It's all going to, it's going to work. And you're cutting that uh, slightly smaller? Smaller, oh, yes. OK, great. Very small pieces. But there's a lot going on here. I see chocolate, some nice berries, um, I some nuts. Garnish, garnish, of course. Um, when I add it, some, I'm going to add it to the custard. Have you made this dish before? I've made it before. So you know it will work? It will work, it will work. And cinnamon. And oh, cinnamon as well. All that lovely flavours, <laughs> eh? Yeah. That we that we enjoy that when feel. it comes to baking, yes. the Christmas <laughs> feel especially. Yeah. Hey, can't wait to taste. Well, we won't keep you. <laughs> Thank you. My dad and my mom taught me how to cook. My mom is a baker. And when I was young, you know, growing up in a black household, you need to know how to cook from a young age. So I started um, learning how to cook. And then I realized that actually I can be more creative. And yeah, that's when I started like, okay, let me try this and try that. Make sure you're good. Let me do take this serious, you know? Why not? Hey, Bubbles. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Good, good. So tell us what you're making. Yes, so I am making a peach and blueberry tart with a mm. cream cheese filling oh. mm. and then nice. a beet and berry sauce. So oh. I'm just chopping up my strawberries to make my sauce and then I'm waiting for my tart in the oven, my pastry, mm -hmm. and then I'll be good to go. Which beet are you beetroot. using? Beetroot. Yes, I'm using sliced beetroot and then I'm going to cook it up with the berries mm -hmm. and then I'm going to mix it up and then blend it. Okay, so the beetroot's yes. got a slight acidity to it. Yes. So you're just going to balance that with some yes, sugar. Yes, I The fruit, wh you, where's your, uh, your fruit? I'm going to be using peaches. Peaches? Yes. Okay, so you're going to keep it uh, the sliced one or uh, sliced the half one? one? And what are you gonna blow here with this blow? Um, uh, blow once torch? my tart is done, I'm just gonna blow it on top, um, brulee it a bit. Yes. Okay. I'm and very that's... impressed with your knife skills. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Looks like you've done it before. Well, hmm? yeah, I do it all the time at home. Bubbles, you know what they say about big knives, eh? What? Big flavor. <laughs> <laughs> My boys love my cooking, especially my baking. It's like the smallest treats and you get the most compliments. I have such a passion for cooking and baking. It gets you uh, going. I mean, when you're in the kitchen, you get to be creative, you get to play with flavors. I mean, it's something unique is because it brings out like the best in you. Oh, Salona, you've got quite a lot going on here. Mm, yes, I do. <laughs> How are you going to bring this all together? 
Okay, I'm actually making a cream cheese filling with canned peaches and cinnamon. I'm going to use it as, um, you would normally make a cream puff, but I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to brush it, put it into my oven. I'm going to use the mixed fruit. I'm going to be doing a, a sponge cake, but normally you would use a peppermint tart filling on uh, biscuits, but I'm going to be using it on the sponge itself and make it a bit festive and colorful. Mm. You got quite a lot of um, canned fruits there, eh? Peters, and then what's the other one? Uh, I was I wanted to go with the apple, apple, but then I've just changed my mind about that. It might be a bit too sweet. Okay, so. and then, uh, so are you adding any sugar or anything onto the pastry I'm gonna itself? I'm going to dust it with icing sugar oh, because nice. it's already quite sweet, so... So you just want that yes. nice balance and yes. everything. Okay, good luck. We'll leave you to it. Okay, contestants, 45 minutes to go. Time's running out. Make sure that you've got everything. So you can see, time's running out fast. Bubbles, when you grabbed yes. the rice, I was wondering what you were going to do with it, and yes. that's very clever. Mm -hmm. I was blind baking um, the pie crust, yes, so that it doesn't rise. Hmm. I'm very impressed. Again with the pastry, it's not cooking. I might have to take out the rice and bake it um, just like that. It's perfect, it's amazing, it's working. <laughs> Contestants, you are halfway through the challenge. You only have 30 minutes left. Oh, I noticed the time. So I quickly do my custard, and I mix and I mix and I mix, and I notice, oh my goodness, I don't have enough milk. So precious. Yes, 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 yes. so far, but I'm worried about the cake if it'll bake in time, but I'm confident it will. <laughs> Yes, yes. You've got this. I've got this. You've and... got this. Yes. I see you have some custard in there. Oh, yes. My uh, custard was a bit um, thick, so I decided to put it in the blender just to make it, you know, because I wanted to add some almonds as well. Okay. So, yeah, I just want that flavour. Is it now flavor. okay? It's, it's now okay. okay. It's and where are you going to pour your custard on? On the apple cake in the oh, oven. Oh, the cake. How mm. is that going as well? Mm, so far, so good. Oh, so far, so good. Great. Ah, oh, so far, so really <laughs> good, I see. Yes, yes. I open the oven, I check the cake. Wobbly jelly situation. Ay, guys. Okay, now I'm, I'm noticing the time and I'm panicking. More color on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day to 072 741 5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Cool Uzodwal. Color your plates with the main member, your seven colors. Cool features. Eat it daily for your everyday well being. Cool Uzodwal. I'm doing really good, especially with time. I haven't burnt anything, I haven't dropped anything on the floor, I'm doing quite well. So I have that confidence. How are you doing? Wow. <laughs> I'm very well, thanks to you. Ah, it's coming together very nicely, it is, it I see. Is. Eh? I'm getting there slowly. So who do you bake for over the festive uh, season? Most of the time it's my sons. I've got two boys who actually love dessert, so. I'm actually doing this for them. Yeah. Do they have a favorite dessert? It's peppermint tart. It's their favorite, so I'm actually I'm using that idea, but infused with a sponge cake instead of a tart itself. Mm. So I'm using that topping. Let's not yeah. interrupt you any further, <laughs> All darling. Right. Mavis, ooh, that is oh. looking so good. <laughs> Thank it's you. Swiss roll. I'm so good at this. Like nothing is going wrong. Everything is in place. It smells oh. like Christmas already. It does. <laughs> Right, right. Oh, you're gonna create magic here. <laughs> so, Zoe Fagan Mug, Zoe Chang and Sam. I'm gonna make it trifle. Zoe, oh. yes, Zoe is a trifle. Now, when it comes to the festive season, yes. trifle is always a hit with the family. What is your go to dish and who do you normally make it for? Whew, you know what? During festive season or when you're hosting anything, both from my family side and my husband's side, I'm the cook, I'm the bake, you know, 
So, yes, I'm the one that they look at. The queen of the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> right now, I'm looking forward to this dessert. <laughs> Let's not interrupt you any further. Thank you. I'm so covered in cream, I look like dessert now. Twenty minutes left, guys. It'll go quicker than you think. So the sauce, I made it with beetroot and berries. So I cooked up some beetroot and those berries, cooled them down and then blended it up. How's things going your side? Um, I'm almost done, actually. So I'm just waiting for my tart. I'm going to place that up and make it into a sauce. And then I just need to fill my tart and then, yeah. OK, so you mm -hmm. seem very in control of your, your, your station Pretty here. Pretty much, um, yeah. And tell me, when it comes to festive cooking, yes. spoiling the family, who in particular does all the baking in your household? I do all the cooking and all the baking. So I basically do everything. Oh, the plan gaan nou gewoon niet goed mee. Want die roomkaas moet al nou versier suiker toe. Want als ik nou suiker daarop ga gooi, want ik in die wit suiker vergeet, dat ik het nou niet bruin suiker. Ik ga versier suiker en die bruin suiker nu. Lydia, hoe voeder jij? Ik was kom aan de kijk. Ik hoop. Van wie pak je altijd zo lekker? Eindelijk is ik lekker pakken. Okay. <laughs> so you make all I these delicious small, treats. We're cool, small. I want to eat so lekker, and also come so lekker like. Yeah, you like fantastic. Now, are you always someone that loves the sweet things, or do you like the savoury more? Ah, let's put it this way: if somebody takes me to dinner, I eat the pudding first, <gasps> and then I. <laughs> The starters, and then if they play salt, I can be made. Lydia, that is my kind of eating. Dessert <laughs> first, and then the main. Yeah. <laughs> Contestants, I see some things in the oven, and it looks like some of you are already getting ready to plate up. Time's running out now. You got to start moving fast. So now I open the oven. The cake isn't done. So I have to make a plan. What happened here? Not enough time. Okay, so ask him for something smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, strain off the, the fruit of that one. Okay. okay. And then bake it in there again. Okay, because so I, think, I, I think what happened with all the liquid in, in there, mm. it sort of just seeped in there, so now it's not baking properly. So if you strain off the, the excess of the fruit there. Mm. Yeah? And what and about the time? Because no, 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 you got it. it <laughs> Leave it in there. Leave it in there. In the oven. Mm. Ay, guys. Okay, so this is a disaster. I need to make a plan fast. And when I say fast, I mean fast, fast. Just leave it in the oven. Just think of how you can save that. Now it turns into something else. Okay? Okay. It stays in that mold as long as the flavors are there. That's important. All right. Okay? That we can taste it. I'm panicking. I'm busy looking at the time now. Everything is just a disaster. I just want to cry, but I can't afford to cry. I have to do something. I have to make a plan. Everything tastes amazing. The sauce is amazing. I'm just stacking it and making it beautiful and gorgeous. Hello, Bublishers. Hi, hi, Mom. Ooh, I want to less than 15 minutes left. Eh? Yes, yes, You've yes. I am almost done, moving. actually. Mm. So I need to pop this in the fridge mm -hmm. for about five minutes and then after that I start to line my pictures and then blowtorch then I'm done. Awesome. Yes. You've got this on lockdown. I, I, I have it. You've got it handled. Mm, yes. Yes, my fuck. I don't know if that was the right is. I have a little bit of a but I have no idea if it's right to work. I really wanted to add icing sugar to the puff pastry because it would have made it look differently and also it would have added a little bit of sweetness to it. I don't have icing sugar today, so I'm grating almonds over it. So if I had to change anything, I would replace the, the almonds with icing sugar. Okay, well, you better hurry up. There's just under five minutes left to go. Mm. Remember, presentation is also important as well as taste. Yes. You're looking stressed. You're looking ah. stressed, girl. Listen. Yachaya, yachaya. Wabonokinakoma. Ah, eh, shesha kel, shesha kel, geshesha. 
pasa eso aquí? Okay, so now my cake is not done. So obviously I need to make a plan. So I uh, scoop the part that is done and I make it work as a pudding. Oh, it's a masterpiece. Swiss roll around the bowl, peaches showing on the bowl, some custard inside, a layer of Swiss roll, fruit, uh, mixed fruit, peaches and berries, and chocolate on top. Guys, I mean, it smells like holidays in here and it, it just looks delicious. Mm, can't wait to taste it. Mm, yes. The best way to color your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Ku Uzotwal. Color your plate with the main member, your seven colors, Ku Beetroot. Eat it daily for your everyday well-being. Cool. The contestants have plated their favorite desserts. Let's hear what the judges have to say. The festive season is my favorite part of the year, and today it's about festive desserts. And the contestants had to heal Koo's food range, which are grown right here at home. Well, I loved walking around, hearing everyone's story about how they celebrate the festive season and the desserts they cook, so... I'm excited. <laughs> All that's left for us to do is to taste those delicious looking desserts. Yeah. Well, I'm quite happy that I'll be having the judges taste my dish. Um, it's nerve wracking. I felt like I was going to fall, but it was it's quite exciting. Oh, wow. Ooh. Look at that. What a little thing. I made a peach and blueberry tart with a cream cheese filling and a beet and berry sauce. Mm. Mm. Wow. Looks beautiful. Thank wow. you. Thanks, Bubbles. That Thank looks you. amazing. Thank you, Thank guys. You. I hope um, that they will give me positive feedback. I hope they like it. And yeah, the rest is just up to them. And I just pray for the best. I think Bubbles did a fantastic job. The one thing I like about desserts is where you have sweetness, but you have, you, you have balance. The initial use of sugar was just completely sort of spot on. And then that, that cream cheese. Oh. Yeah. That's where the magic lies, mm. the cream cheese, O-M-G. And I think she really got her crust just right. I mean, the crunchiness. I mean, I think Bubbles brought Bubblicious on the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely, if you're going to serve tasty fruits like this, I'll have them every day. <laughs> I mean, every mouthful was really so delicious. Mm. I love texture, so I love the combination of the crunchiness of the crust with that creaminess of the cream cheese, and it just mm. worked beautifully. I mean, Bubbles really brought different techniques here. I mean, that sauce as well, mm. taking beetroot from the jar and adding it together with the berries. Yeah. This was Perfect. a good first dessert. Yeah. It set the standard right. high. Definitely. Should we taste the next one? Yeah. My heart is pumping in my chest. Feels like it's going to explode, and I'm petrified. Wow. That looks lovely, Lydia. <laughs> Lydia, what did you do for us? I made a Kerstmas pizza for the four season. So what's on your Christmas pizza? Well, it's got ganache and cream cheese, and then it has lovely uh, mixed fruit in natural juice, garnished with strawberries. Hmm. Sounds good. Bye, thank you, Lydia. Thank you very much. I'm feeling a little bit disappointed because I didn't put all the elements I wanted on the plate and I was not sure whether I was living up to the expectation of the judges. What did you think of that, Arthur? It looked like you enjoyed it. Gobbled it up. Yeah. <laughs> what I appreciate about Lydia's Christmas pizza is that it's also not overly sweet. I like the idea that she used the fruit juice from the fruit cocktail because the, that is a light version of the fruits, you know, which also offers you that guilt-free indulgence. I like the fact that she improvised. I mean, she forgot to take the icing sugar. She used the Nutribullet and uh, we've got her icing sugar and she forgot the butter. Mm. Mm. Then, uh, but she cleverly used the, the cream cheese. I find that the, the crust is too chewy. 
But overall, great presentation from Lydia. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, there's just a slight chewiness to the crust, but it's not just that. It, it almost needs more flavor. I'm actually yearning for a little bit more sweetness, <laughs> mm. you know. The dark chocolate is also almost a savory element because it's, it's, it's dark chocolate. It's, it's mm. not your creamy chocolate, maybe with a bit more sugar. For me, because I'm a savory person, I don't like my dessert to be overly sweet. sweet. So that's why I quite enjoy it. It had a nice balance to it. Yeah. I also love the take on like strawberries and chocolate. And I thought the, the cream cheese and the dark chocolate complemented each other really, mm. really well. And when she said her Christmas pizza, my mind went savory, but that cookie crust was really a fun treat to have. Well, shall we try the next uh, dessert? Yeah. Uh, you know what, sometimes things don't work out as we want them to, but I'm just glad that I put something there. As nervous as I am, I'm just happy that I have something in my hand to give to the judges. Yes, hi. Yes, hi. I things didn't work out as planned, but I'm just glad I got something on the table. What were you trying to make? I was trying to make apple and pear festive cake, and it didn't work out. Everything was just wobbly. Yes, there was not enough time. Listen, always remember you did your best. And in life, that's what's important. Thank you. Thank you. So can you imagine? Having to hand something like that to Rupin in Basitan, when all I want to do is just run away. <laughs> but I have to stand there. <laughs> Look, you can't go wrong with custard and fruit in any case, you know. <laughs> that uh, There's that nice almond flavour. I think uh, she tried to rescue at least uh, a little bit of the cake that was done. She might have been just slightly too ambitious in terms of the size of the cake that she wanted to bake. You know, I really feel for her because I thought she had a great idea in terms of the flavours that she wanted to bring together. Mm. But the cake in terms of just taste, it really works. You know, in terms of just the ingredients that she used and it's not too sweet either. I must say though that uh, the flavours that she promised us uh, from what she presented, we did get them because the fruits were there as we wanted them, and also the custard that she promised with the almond flavor as well. Quite nice. Mm. Zoe? I loved her presentation, and I mean, she's extremely emotional, but she still delivered a beautiful dish. So she made a plan. I think she was just, you know, for me, such a nice, enthusiastic uh, baker. She will uh, kick herself because, uh, you know, you can see that she wanted to give us, like, what she can do when she's at her best, you know, and mm. uh, like you said, Basi, you could see the potential if that cake just had a bit more time mm. in the oven, mm. it would have been mm. perfect. Mm. Let's try the next one. Yeah. Okay. I'm not doubting my cooking skills a little bit because I know that I'm good at this. I'm always well prepared. The trifle looks good. Mm. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Take us through your iteration of this lovely, lovely trifle. Okay, so here I used freshly baked sustrol, cream, custard, and a lot of cool fruits Ooh. and peaches. Hey, you did the things, girl. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it feels great that they're gonna taste my food because that's the part I love the most where people get to taste what I've prepared for them. Wow. Mm. All I'm gonna say is it's gonna be difficult to choose a winner. Mavis surprised me because when I saw her pantry dash, she grabbed the jam, I saw all the ingredients and I didn't know what she was going to make and how it's going to come together. But that Swiss roll was unbelievable. The levels and then their levels to trifles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I love about Mavis? She just took the effort to make her own Swiss roll and when they were ready-made sponge cakes. And I love that it had a, a moisture to it that was really delicious. I mean, if I had to bake a Swiss roll out of the top of my head, it would have been dry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was just a continuous bombardment of decadence. You know, the best dessert I've had this year, honestly. Oh, wow. I agree with Arthur. I think um, it's spot on. That's a trifle. You know, that peppermint chocolate, together with the cream as well, just to top it off. Mm. That just brings it back home to South Africa, mm. you know? Mm. Love it. It was yummy. Yep. Well, let's have the next plate. My head is all over the place. I don't know what to expect of them. I'm really nervous just praying that they like it, they enjoy it. So yes, absolutely nervous. Two 
desserts. Yeah. Silona, you're not playing I around. I tried. <laughs> Silona, that looks amazing. Tell us about it. It's uh, actually a sponge with a peppermint tart filling. And this is a puff pastry with a canned peaches and cottage cheese in it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. I think I did both these dishes to the best of my ability. I do feel that the judges are going to be happy when they're tasting it. My presentation is to the tea as well. So yes, I'm, I'm feeling confident. Silona brought heart and soul with her dessert. I'm a huge fan of peppermint tart and to add it with a cake, very nice touch, especially adding the cool mixed fruit cocktail in there, adds a nice sweetness to it. Yeah. I agree. I, I like the cake as well, nice freshness in there, the peppermint, the fruits as well in them. But also just the puff pastry as well. Mm. So much lightness. I mean, mm. the feeling of the fruits for me, it's quite a nice surprise as well there because you're not expecting it. But also it was just quite nice to eat, you know. Mm. Great way to just hide, you know, um, fruits for the little ones so that they can still enjoy it. Right? Yeah, I love the, that pepperminty flavor. Yes, yeah, she used the sponge cake that was supplied, but I mean, she only had an hour, so I, I think that was kind of clever. And the use of the strawberries kind of breaks that sweetness. There's quite a bit of sweetness in there. It breaks it definitely, together with the fruit that's in there. The pastry, again, was definitely less sweet. The cream cheese that she used in there, uh, just the combination with the fruit, and then also the little fruit salad on the side. I don't know how they two, the two of them go together. It's completely, I would say, separate. Maybe she was showing off that she could do two desserts. And I'm not terribly perturbed that she made two desserts. Mm. Um, and yeah, so Ruben, on that one, my friend, uh, we're going to have to agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking at the caramel now, and I, I think I'm going to have some more. The best way to color your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Ku Uzodwala. Guys, I think I've had enough sugar for the rest of the year. We've seen some great desserts and I'm so happy I was here for that. I think this is actually going to be one of the toughest decisions we've ever had to make in this competition. Mm -hmm. Judges, we've deliberated and somewhere we've agreed and somewhere we did not agree. Today was a tough one, but I think we've come to a conclusion. Well, the only thing left to do now is to go share the news with them. So I hope the judges will be impressed because, I mean, it's the best. I'm hoping for the best. I pray I get good comments. I get, uh, I will take criticism, but I'm hoping for good feedback. I'm not doubting my cooking skills a little bit because I know that I'm good at this. I'm always well prepared. Yo. Op een manier is jy opgewonde, maar jy is ook baie senewee-achtig. Dan weet jy ook, jy het jou best probeer en dat jy kon nie beter gedoen het as dit. Contestants, We've seen some amazing desserts tonight, great festive offerings, and just overall creativity. You should be proud of yourselves. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yes, I have doubts. Um, I feel like there are two or three things that I could have done differently, but it's all done now. Bubbles, your tart blew us away. We loved how well balanced it was and your incorporation of the pickled beetroot. That was really impressive. We thought the actual pastry could have done a little bit more work and be evenly balanced, but overall a very good dish. Thank you. Spesishem Danam, you had an amazing idea to do that pear and apple bake. And then of course I saw that you were having challenges and, uh, and it fell apart. But what made me even more sad you also fell apart. And, um, and don't be hard on yourself. You know what, you did your best. You gave us a dessert where there was custard and then there was peaches there, which was not your first intention. But you know what, you did your best. So be proud of your work. Thank you, thank you. I am never ever ever baking a deep cake like that. In fact, in fact attempting to, to bake a cake, you know. If I do, I will practice, you know, over and over and over again. But I, mm -mm, I'm never doing anything like that ever again for a competition. Lydia, Christmas sweet pizza. 
such a great idea actually and that uh, base that you baked yourself um, obviously initially you didn't take your butter then you used some cream cheese really nice maybe got a little bit tough when it started to soak in some of those uh, the syrup of the fruit that you used but the flavor combinations the chocolates we actually had a discussion whether it should be a bit more sweet because i like sweet stuff uh, i think the balance that you had there and the use of the, the fruit was very creative well done thank you but i'm almost down the track that i can make a sweet sugar can make a brain sugar out maybe when i was so tired i'm more I'm feeling a little bit nervous. My heart is skipping, but this has to be done. Try fully how I shall we ratile. What tomaka, Swiss roll, what the layer, what the fruits. I mean, the love in there was really great. Mara, was it enough on this show? I don't know. Thank you. So, Lona, you brought us not one, but two dishes. We love that you brought so much heart and soul cooking something that your boys love. But the question is, is two better than one? Thank you, Zoe, for the feedback. I feel a little bit disappointed. It's just being put in that situation where you know you just got one hour and you have to play around with time. So yes, uh, I'm not entirely happy with what I produced. I could have did so much better if I had more time. Well done, contestants. I mean, you guys really brought it today, all of you and you made it so tough for us to, to make a decision. Ultimately though, we had to make that decision and under the cloche is the winning dish. Zoe, please do the honors. Are you ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> kind of nervous. Drum roll. <laughs> The best way to color your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Ku Uzotwala. Well done, contestants. Ultimately, though, we had to make that decision. Zoe, please do the honors. Are you ready? Yes. yes. And the plate? Under the cloche. It's bubble! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is it. It is I don't know how to feel. Oh. I feel like screaming. I'm going to scream a whore. Um, I'm so excited. Um, it's the beginning of a new journey and I'm just so happy and thank you so much. Well done, Bubbles. <laughs> thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> but Zoe has got something else for us. That's right. Well, there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of agreements, a lot of disagreements. And we've actually decided it's too difficult to choose just one winner. Ladies, today we have a tie. Two plates will be going through to the final. Oh. Are you ready to find out who the other person is? Yes. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> and the second plate going through to the finale. It's me! Oh, I'm so happy and excited and yeah, because I was expecting this actually. <laughs> well done Bubbles and Mavis. Thank you. You know, this was really the first time in this competition that we've had to do this. So you guys did a fantastic job as did the rest of the contestants as well. As the winners of this challenge today, you walk away with a hamper worth more than 4,000 Rand, yeah. <laughs> including La Crusade kitchenware, cool products, and a Nutri Bullet. And you've colored your plates to the finale. Yes! 
Um, the price is so amazing. Thank you to La Crusade, Koo and YouTube Bullet. It's so exciting that I'm going to the grand finale. I can't wait. Um, I'm coming prepared. I need to prepare. Wow, amazing. It's a feeling I can't explain. I'm over the moon, I'm excited. See you all at the finale. Congratulations to Bubbles and Mavis for both coloring their plates into the finale. Make sure that you catch all the action for the grand finale starting next week. These 10 contestants have made it to the finale of Color Your Plates with Koo. JP! Shante! Nadia! Vandile! Zeppi! Abida! Nole! It's Bubbles! <laughs> Mavis! <laughs> Tune in next week to find out who will be Mzansi's next cooking star and walk away with more than 50,000 Rand in prizes. The best way to color your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Kuuzotwala. <laughs>